types of college students and what they would wear. Number one, the person who only wears their school's merch. They're repping their college no matter what time, day, or occasion. Let's go Yale! Bula bula, bula bula, repping the Y. Somehow the majority of their clothes tend to be from the campus bookstore. And if you need any type of merch, chances are they've got it. Maybe they're a legacy student since it looks like they've acquired so much merch over the years. Or they rated campus customs when they got in so that they'd have every version of their college's logo. Or they're an athlete and their whole wardrobe is Yale blue, etc. When they say rep the Y in Yale's case in particular, this person truly takes it to heart and is repping the Y. Since I go to Yale, it was only fitting that I grab all of my merch to recreate this student. They're definitely wearing a Yale shirt underneath a Yale sweatshirt because it's school merch throughout the outfit. So that's what we've achieved here. Number two, the extra friendly person who seems to know anyone and everyone. This person's always asking you to grab lunch with them and chances are they're scheduling their meals in their gcal google calendar for those of you who don't know after all there's so much socialization so they do need to keep track of all of it right hey oh my god do you want to grab lunch sometime perfect let me just schedule that in my gcal also, side note, who popularized the phrase grabbing lunch? Like, nobody here says let's get lunch, it's only let's grab lunch. Just scheduling some meals, don't mind me. Awkward. Anyways, back to the girl. She's super friendly and extroverted, which makes sense by her fashion choices. Bold, colorful, and patterned. She stands out in a crowd, looks fun to be around, and is always smiling. Some people say she smiles too much, but can you ever smile too much? I don't know. So that's why I paired a colorful graphic tee along with colorful camouflage pants topped with a bright red coat. A little ironic because camouflage means to blend in, but with these colors, everyone is sure to notice her. Blend, but don't blend in. The shoes also complement the whole look. They're navy blue platforms with colorful embroidered flowers of course they're patterned and bright people often wonder if her social battery ever runs out and does she do any work because it looks like she always has plans oh my god i'm so busy today i have to go eat lunch with five people and then i'm meeting my friend amy and then i'm also meeting my sister and then later on i'm meeting like Jin for some ramen so i honestly don't know how i'm gonna fit all these plans in you know it's a little bit tough out here maybe she secretly wakes up early to get her studies in maybe she really does her work or maybe she really isn't as put together as her social plans are we'll never know number three the student who always has their together everyone's jealous of them and confused as to how put together they are and how they manage to do everything she's also termed that girl this girl wakes up early in the morning no later than 7 30 she always manages to get in an early gym workout or run and if it's a dire situation she'll squeeze in a five minute ab routine this girl's on top of her schoolwork and you can always find her studying in the library she's also involved in a lot of extracurricular activities in essence she's the productivity queen and how does she have time for all of this since she's very put together her fit must be too. so she's usually sporting cool jackets like this trench she gives off a sophisticated air hence a blouse like this but nevertheless a very cute crop top and straight-legged pants she owns trendy shoes like these burgundy docks and she's also usually accessorizing to give her fit the added pop number four the one who socializes and barely does any work but still manages to get a you wonder how they ever find the time to do work because they're always chilling in the common room, adventuring around campus, or talking to someone. You may question how they're doing well in classes when they rarely study, but you know they're naturally smart, like extremely smart, and that's probably how they're getting by. This person is cool, kind of quirky, and has the chillest vibes. Their attire is casual, but also fashionable. They've quite frankly mastered the casual but cool look, which is why I threw on this denim jacket, layered graphic tee, and some straight-legged pants. Converse are also a staple, and they're quick to throw on. This person is not quite as extroverted as the extra-friendly person from before, but just as social. They prefer to hang within their friend groups instead of constantly branching out, but nevertheless have the best time. Everyone's always in awe of how much time they have, given that their workload is very hard and demanding and they're never seen in the library. Number five, the rich elite. Serena Vanderwoodson vibes low-key but in real life. She's probably from New York City or LA or an international student. Her parents may have donated a lot of money to the school. A building could potentially be named after her. Her parents are probably billionaires or somewhat close to that. Her friend group is exclusive and they're also of like the same status. They stick to themselves. She takes weekend trips in her private jet and of course she's traveled extensively. This type of student is classy and sophisticated and she dresses like so. She's wearing sleek and expensive looking jackets like this one classic black sunglasses for the undercover but not so undercover look leather boots and a mini skirt or skirt in this case she can't forget about perfume that's an essential she's also most likely wearing canada goose but i don't own a canada goose so let's just imagine that we're throwing it on on the daily number six the person that skips class but doesn't even party 
we all have that friend or at least i do i hope he knows that this one is directly aimed at him jokes aside this person is honestly more common than you would expect she's smart and gets by without having to go to lectures in person or she just binge watches all the lectures a day before a midterm or final we expect that she'd skip class because she had a late night out partying but she rarely goes out if even that so what does she do that makes her skip class we don't actually know maybe she's just tired of school extraordinarily brilliant tired in general or is lazy and doesn't want to move or maybe their screen time is 10 plus hours but you do you i'm so tired i'm so bored i just got up it's 4 p.m She's usually wearing something athleisure since she most likely woke up from either a four hour nap or she slept in too much and promptly missed class. Honestly, she's probably like just sleeping. Not to worry, her outfit still emanates chill vibes with the cinch joggers for an elevated look as well as a cute sweatshirt. Chances are she owns plenty of athleisure since she really is simply chilling. Anyways number seven the frat boy pretty much the epitome of work hard play hard he acts cool and probably actually no most definitely talks in a voice that is an octave lower than his real voice yo what's good he walks with a sway, hands are usually in the pocket, face usually looking serious. We wonder if his image is a facade or if he genuinely is always acting cool or trying to act cool. His ego is probably through the roof too. Yes, these are some stereotypes, but this whole video is just a fun commentary so don't come for me like that. You know the frat boy is wearing khaki pants. It's a bit of a preppy look with an oversized polo shirt as well. You can usually spot him wearing sneakers, but also Timberlands or Sperry's depending on the weather. His hair is usually meticulously done since that's basically half of his ego but as i don't have hair like that i just tied my hair up let's just roll with it we move number eight the one who has too much on their plate she's the person who has a minimum of five classes is involved in at least one sport three clubs and is usually stressed and all over the place could you repeat that again perfect like literally and physically too because she is running all around campus. She works really hard to do everything, participates frequently in class discussions. She probably uses the words dichotomy and duality in seminars to enhance her vocab, but to be honest, too many people use that and it's a little bit clown. Yes, just piggybacking off of what Richard said, the dichotomy between the economic sectors in fact encompasses a hidden duality, let me explain. Bruh. She's on the go 25-8, so she has to wear something comfortable. You can usually catch her in casual sneakers and flowy pants are also a staple since they're so comfy. Topped with a simple sweater, she's ready to go and complete her 800 activities. She's also wearing a coat since she is running all around campus, so she's got to stay warm in the frigid weather that makes everyone else but her want to hibernate. This look is generally simple and she can throw it together in a minute while still looking presentable. And anyway, she's so busy that nobody is actually looking at her outfit since she passes in a Blur. I literally have no time for anything. Number nine, the prepster. She's obsessed with skirts and sweater vests as well as anything with collars and button down. The ultimate look is a sweater vest layered on top of a white colored shirt with a white pleated tennis skirt. Topped with Chelsea boots, the look is complete. She's sophisticated and elegant, also borderlining the business casual look. She has good manners, carries herself well, is polite, follows the rules. You'll likely find her carrying a purse or shoulder bag. She owns many of them and changes them out on the daily. This girl may have been a prepster from day one, having gone to a prep school since elementary or she may just really embody that preppy look thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe like and comment it really helps me out and let me know if you want a part two and see you in the next one